Hi, my name is Dami. Uh, I'm speaking live from Adept Barber Shop. I'm just going to um, speak about my experience over the last few years here at Adept Barber Shop and um, I'll talk about my passion. And, uh, yeah, make some final remarks. Um, I've been barbing there, it's going upwards of two years now, it's coming up to about three years. Um, I love being in that barber shop. Um, the, 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 the atmosphere is very friendly. We've got very professional barbers there, uh, very passionate barbers. Um, and it's I'm here. I keep up with my business. That might sound very interesting in the sense that I can go on the internet, put my laptop, check my mails while I'm waiting. If I decide to walk in, you can actually book online for a specified time. However, if I decide to walk in, I can, um, whilst waiting for my um, ton on the seat, I can actually go on um, online on my laptop while waiting, check my mails, do some research. In fact, as of today, I actually came in and um, whilst waiting for my ton, I actually went on, um, on the TV and uh, I was able to keep up with um, the business trends in Nigeria. I love Nigeria, I'm passionate about Nigeria. You know, you know, and, um, you know, you know the thing. I was actually able to um, keep an eye on business developments in Nigeria. As we all know, there's the issue of um, fuel scarcity, um, dollar shot, shot, shortage at the moment in the country. Well, as for me, as a business person, um, I'm, I'm able to spot opportunities because I look at things on the on the bigger picture. Um, obviously, the dollar shortage and the um, false scarcity is a big issue. Uh, it affects businesses terribly in Nigeria, especially as we all know that um, power is a big issue. Most business most businesses um, depend on. Um, depend on um, generators to actually power their business businesses. However, um, there are other reliable alternatives through which... Specialists on jobs like this. Exactly. <laughs> jobs like this in Nigeria, um, barbing, being a tradesman, maybe as a mechanic or a tailor, or even if you're running a big business, like a plant, a, a production plant, you need power. The power is in there, so you've got to run your business on a generator. But there are other ways around you running business in Nigeria if you have to use um, a generator. Um, overall, for me, um, I, I believe in Nigeria in the sense that if you understand the terrain and if you if you've got local partners you can always um, do business there successfully because here in the west we you get information on in the sense that people tell you oh doing businesses in nigeria is is, is, is hard um, in reality i've been on the ground recently i've done my survey i've met with very very successful business people and they've been able to build their business regardless of the challenges. And um, if you are looking to do business in Nigeria, if you need local partners, um, feel free to reach out to people like myself, uh, who understand the terrain, and um, we'll be able to help you navigating the, um, the business environment in Nigeria successfully. Thanks for your time.